grade one, welcome back to our grade one English e-learning. This is our lesson video number three for the first week of August 2021. We are still on unit 13 and the title of our unit is Clean Up. And for this lesson video, we are going to complete the exercises on your workbook. So please get your workbook and get your pencils. Please turn to page 105. Get your workbook. Okay, workbook, page 105. And let's complete the exercises on lesson 2. So this is just a review from our lesson this week, lesson 2 grammar. So on lesson 2, we've learned theirs and there are again. We use theirs if we speak or refer to only one object. And we use there are if we speak or refer to two or more or many objects. Alright? So let's try number one. Number one is an example. Okay? This is a bed. Right? How many beds do you see? One. Okay, let's read. There's there are a bed in my bedroom. So, how many beds are there in the bedroom? One. That's why we will circle there's. Okay? There's. Or there is. There's. Okay? So, we circle this one. So, that's exercise number one. That's the example. Now, let's do number two. What are these? Yes, these are cabinets. Okay? Let's read. There's, there are two cabinets in my bedroom. The, there's, there are two cabinets in my bedroom. What's the correct answer? Yes, the answer here is... There are. Okay, let's go to number three. Number three. What are these? Yes, these are books. How many books are there? Three. Very good. Let's read. There's, there are three books on my shelf. So, circle the correct answer. Is it theirs or there are? Yes, the answer here is there are. Good job. And number four. What's this? Yes, it's a blanket. Okay. How many blankets do you see? One. Okay, let's read. There's, there are a blanket on my bed. Circle your answer. Okay, the correct answer here is there's. Very good, because there's only one blanket, so we will circle there's, and that's the correct answer. Let's move to exercise number two. Look at the pictures and write. Okay, write there's or there are. So look at the pictures. These are the things inside the bedroom. Okay, so there's a cabinet, four books, two pillows, two beds, a shelf, and a rug. Now, let's do number one, okay? Number one is an example. Look at the cabinet. Or you can read here. A cabinet. So, how many cabinets? One. So, if there's only one, we use theirs. So, write theirs. Now, let's go to number two, okay? Let's read four books. How many books? Yes, four books. Now, write your answer. Is it theirs or there are? 
write your answer first and I will reveal the answers when we are done with number six. Okay, let's go to number three. Number three, two pillows. Two pillows. Is it theirs or there are? Write your answer. Number four, two beds, two beds, write your answer. Is it theirs or there are? Number five, a shelf, a shelf, is it theirs or there are? Write your answer. Number six, a rug, a rug, is it theirs or there are? Write your answer. Okay, let's reveal the answers. Number two, four books. The answer is there are. Number three, two pillows. There are. Yes. Number four, two beds. There are. Number five, a shelf. There's. And number six, a rug. There's. Yes. So these are the answers. There are, there are, there are, there's, and there's. Wow, very good. So we are done with lesson two. Now, real quick, let's go to lesson three, workbook page 106. So turn your workbook to page 106. Let's do this one. Get your pencils ready. And we are going to connect the dots. Let's see what picture is this. So we will start with one. Okay. What's next to one? Two. Where is two? So you have to look for number two and connect the dots. Okay, this is number two. Right. What's next to number two? Three. So let's look for number three here. So we will draw a line and there. So that's how you connect the dots. Okay, let's do it together. So while... I draw the line, you draw the line as well, okay? So number four, this is four, and this is number five, this is number six here, and seven here, there you go, and eight here, yes, nine, down, yes, ten, here to the right and then 11 go up 11 and 12 there what's next 13 so this is 13 so we will there 14 so we will draw a line going to 14 there you go and 15 so we will follow this line next is 16 and then 17, this one, and then 18, up, and 19, up, and 20, there. Okay, so, oh, it's a, yes, it's a bed. Good job. So this is how you connect the dots. Let's go to exercise number two. You can open your student book here so you know how to spell the word or if you don't know how to spell, so you just turn your student book to page 106. Find and circle the words, then write. Okay, so we have here, let's start with this. So this is 11, okay? 11. We will circle the words, find the word 11. Okay, where is 11? Here. Okay, see? This is 11. E L E V E N. Sorry. So this is 
11. And then you write the word 11. Okay? Next, let's do this. This is number 12. Where is 12? 12 starts with T. So look for T. Where is T? Is this 12? No. Is this 12? No. This one is 20. Here we found 12. So T, W, T, W, E, L, B, E. Only one E. Then we circle this. 12 and write 12. Okay? Now your turn. And I will reveal the answers later. Okay. Look for number this is 13. So look for 13. Where is 13? And then write the word. Okay, let's, let's check. This is 13. Yes, 13 is down. And then write 13. What number is this? 14. Yes. Now, find 14. Where is 14? Yes, on top here. So, we will circle this one. Circle 14. And write 14. Now, 15. This is 15. Now, find 15. 15. Where is 15? Yes, on top of 12. Okay, good. So we will circle this. 15 and write 15. Good. What number is this? 16. Where is 16? Yes, on top of the stars. Good job. So this is 16. So circle 16 and write 16. Next, what number is this? 17. Where is 17? Great. On top of 16. Very good. So circle that one and write 17. Next, what number is this? 18. Where is 18? Yes, under 14 or below 14. Very good. So we circle that one. 18. And then write 18. Okay, down to our last two numbers. What's this? 19. Where is 19? Yeah, beside 11. Okay, good job. So, circle that one. Circle 19. Write 19. And what number is this? 20. Where is 20? Yes, between 18 and 17. Yay, good job. And then write 20. Alright, it's very easy. Okay, so today on this lesson video, we did two, two exercises. Okay, lesson two and lesson three. And when you are done, take a photo of your work and send to my messenger. Alright? Yes, and this is where our workbook exercises end and our lesson video ends. So see you on our next video pleasant video. Goodbye and thank you for watching.